Welcome to another episode of Soul Lane Success. Today, I wanna to talk to you about sacred leadership and what that really means and how to step fully into it. So in order to step fully into sacred leadership, one thing is required. And this is that you yourself, you recognize yourself as sacred. You recognize that you yourself are a spark of creation and that the divine is flowing to you and through you. And that you are a channel and a vessel and allowing that to be the momentum that moves you forward. You recognize that you are sacred, your mission is sacred, your message is sacred, your gift is sacred, what you're here to share is sacred, what you're here to create is sacred. It's all part of it. It's all part of divine creation working through you. Your desires are sacred. If you fully, fully knew that you were sacred and that you are created in the likeness of the ultimate creator, then you would know that all of your creations are also an extension of that and you would never doubt them again. And your desire to make a massive impact in the world is a divinely guided desire and you would never doubt it again. You would never doubt your mission or your message or your gift or anything that you're here to share again because you would see yourself fully as an extension of source. You would see yourself as source. You would see yourself as sacred. And everything that bubbles up from that heart-centered place of yours is sacred. And so this holds so many spiritual entrepreneurs back because they simply have a case of mistaken identity. They see themselves as the personality self, the one that needs and the one that wants and the one that is always going to be looking for external validation or approval or certain things to happen outside of yourself in order for it to be okay for you to move forward. And so you're still making this mission or this journey that you're on, this, this calling that you're answering, you're making it about you. And you're making it about, when I say you, the smaller you, the personality you, right? The identity that you call you. And what I'm inviting you to do is to make it about the true you. Make it about the truth of who you are truly you, the true you, the ultimate you, the one that is already connected to all things and just showing up in this dance called life as a physical expression for the divine to work through you, as you. When you fully honor yourself in that way and all of your desires in that way and the message and the gift and everything that you're here to share in that way, you will be able to walk in faith each step of the way, knowing that you are supported, knowing that you are guided, because faith is going to be required on this journey. And I see so many overly identified with the personality self. And obviously, we all have one, right? And so we're all at, at different phases of the, of, the, of the journey, recognizing, you know, our conditioning, our belief systems, our mental body, our emotional body, and hopefully at some point recognizing that you're absolutely none of those things in truth and all of those things in truth, right? Because everything is an expression. It's all fine, but ultimately you're not identified with them as you, the true you. And without going down that rabbit hole any further, and how does this apply to your business? How does this apply to stepping fully into sacred leadership? You would never doubt your mission or your message or your gift or what you're here to create if you fully trusted that you are divine. You are sacred. You are creation. You are sacred and everything that's bubbling up within you is as well. You would never doubt your desires again and you would take action on them in full faith knowing that 
there is no way they cannot come to fruition. There is no way they can't make the impact. There's no way they can't uplift because it's all divinely guided. And to say otherwise would be to discount the divine, to discount, you know, creation that is the ultimate creator that is working through you. That is you. And, you know, even this body, you know, this body is still, this 3D physical experience is still divine. It's all creation, right? But here in this reality, in this 3D reality, we overly identify with them, like our mind and our ego and our personality, and then we're a victim of it. Because our awareness is like, we feel we're trapped in this body. Uh, we feel we are this body. We feel we are like nothing beyond the physical senses, right? Exists. I'm inviting you to expand outside of that and accept the wholeness of who you truly are. It, and explore that. Explore that. Explore inward explore the essence of who you truly are the essence of who you truly are and when you fully trust in that you won't doubt your mission or your message or your gift or what you're here to share or what you're here to create and so that's what i wanted to share with you today if anybody has any comments or questions i'd love to hear them please drop them below this video and if this really resonates with you and you're looking to step fully into your mission and your purpose work and share your message and your gift with the world and make a big impact and create a freedom-based lifestyle and enjoy all the things that are part of this whole package we call life and be of service and make a massive impact and at the same time create your lifestyle that you desire then that's this is what I specialize in and you can hop on the masterclass below this video wherever you happen to be watching it or you can find it on my Instagram bio and my link at spiritual CEO uh, the masterclass if that resonates with you there will be an option and an invitation below that to apply for a strategy session where I help you map out a soul aligned business blueprint for your own business that is unique to your mission message your gift and who you're here to serve and um yeah, I would, if that masterclass resonates with you, then I would love to connect. I hope this video finds you well, and until next time, namaste.